The island of Bimini is five miles long and 700 feet across at its widest point. Made famous in the movie and the novel, Islands in the Stream, it's been frequented by rum runners and smugglers since the 20s. Ernest Hemingway once lived here, so did Norman Rockwell, and so does a man named Bonefish Willie. His real name is William Duncombe. He is the 68-year-old son of a Bahamian sponge fisherman. He's lived all his life on this tiny island, 50 nautical miles from the U.S. mainland. And as you might expect, he's been bone fishing since he was a boy. Well, I uh, first bone fish I caught, I was about seven years old. The first one. I was on the beach uh, after school, you know, I came on the beach to catch some fish for my mama. Mm -hmm. To fry, I mean, with shads and snappers. And I threw my line out and I tied the line around my waist. It was a strong line too. And all of a sudden I felt this, this big pull. And this fish took that bait, that piece of conch I had on the line as a bait, piece of conch. And he took that conch and that hook and he, he ran out with that line and, and I, I set the hook with my hand because that was a hand line. It wasn't a reel and roll in those days at all. And then I set that hook while this fish pulled. And I was on the beach. And this, this fish pulled me off of the beach and in, in, into the water and out in the channel so he where, I, where, where I couldn't, couldn't swim. And I, I would have I drowned too if he had kept on going, but he, he, he make a turn to the, to the right. And then he turned while the line gets slack and then I began to swim back to the shore. But Bonefish Willie was to have other adventures on the island and many of them with an amateur boxer named Ernest Hemingway. He used to tie the, the rope around these trees mm -hmm four trees and make a, a ring to box in. And so he would knock people out of the ring in here? He'd he knock them out and then knock them down, both. Yeah. Uh, he uh, used to challenge, uh, we had three good boxers in Bimini in those days. Mm -hmm. And he challenged those boxers and he, uh, he uh, put down $200 on the table. And said, so now any one of you guys knock me out, you have $200. And in those days, $200 weighed about $600 now. Mm -hmm. That was plenty of money in those days. So he put the money on the table, $200, and said, now, all right, let's go. Let's fight. And he get the first one, and he get in the ring, and he uh, began to fight. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the, 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 sometime the first round, in the second round, he make a TKO. And he'd knock, knock, him out. knock him out. Bonefish Willie was also along for some of Papa Hemingway's more unusual methods of shark hunting. And in, in fact, why he, uh, he had a machine gun, mm -hmm. and he used to go in the ocean and uh, look for these sharks, and beat them up and catch them, and bring them up to the boat. And he used to take a machine gun, and you could hear oh, like, like a war going on, machine gun. That was Hemingway Ooh, shooting, him, them. shooting sharks. He, he, he used to love that. But these days, Bonefish Willie contends himself with more tranquil adventures. For a fee, $50, Bonefish will take you out on a skiff to a place the islanders call the Healing Hole. The Healing Hole is actually a sulfur and lithium spring. Tucked away deep in the mangrove swamp surrounding Bimini, it's reputed to heal anything from the common cold to arthritis. Discovered some 15 years ago by a pilot, it's accessible only at high tide. So it is the water in there that sort of uh, does the healing, you know. And then a, a little feet along with that too. And for objectivity, this reporter just had to take a dip. Feels great. When he's not guiding tourists to the healing hole, Bonefish Willie can be found pulling his small skiff on the flats surrounding the island, casting for the elusive fish which gave him his name. But unlike the rest of the fishermen on the island who celebrate their catch at bars like the Complete Angler, Bonefish Willie celebrates his catch in a very different way. Because Bonefish Willie, fisherman, guide, Hemingway sidekick, grandfather to over 25 children, 
is also ordained bishop, William Duncombe. Oh yes, hallelujah! That's what you need! Oh yes, hallelujah! The Holy Ghost will give you that power! The glory, hallelujah! The power of God! Unto salvation! It's so wonderful! What do you think about Jesus? What do you think about Jesus? What do you think about Jesus? I got the Holy Ghost! What do you think about the Holy Ghost? It gets all right! It gets all right! It gets all right! I thank God this morning! At his oceanfront church in Billytown, Bimini, Bishop Duncombe, or Reverend Lilly as the Islanders call him, preaches Pentecostal fire and brimstone, and although he's almost 70 years old, Bishop Duncombe delivers a sermon with the energy of a teenager. I'm gonna walk! Amen! In the spirit! Amen! I'm gonna talk! Amen! In the spirit! Amen! I'm gonna live! Amen! In the spirit! Amen! I'm gonna move! Amen! In the spirit! Amen! I'm gonna wait! Amen! In the spirit! Amen! I'm gonna die! Amen! In the spirit! Amen! I see you! Yes, Lord! I love you, Lord! Yes, I love you! Who's coming again for me? Yes! For the glory of God did not buy by price! Jesus! Not by no money! Jesus! You gotta seek for it? Yes! You gotta receive it? Yes! From Jesus? Jesus! Give God the glory! Glory to God! Give God the glory! Glory to God! And I saw Peter! Jesus! I took out the lame man! Yes! Give God the glory! Glory to God! Call him, praise God! He said, look at him! Yes! Hallelujah! Amen. Peter said, rise up and go! Oh, yes! Oh, have I not? Ha ha ha! Jesus! <laughs> But Monday morning, bright and early, finds Bonefish back out on the flats, ready to share his years of angling experience with anyone who's got the good sense to listen. And they are the fastest fish that ever swim. They make mile a minute. They're just like a ghost. They call them the, the ghost of the flats. Oh, 